Hi, my name is CJ and today I'm going to be showing you how to take proper measurements for your angle knee wall. Before you begin, make sure that you've printed off a copy of your angle wall form. Let's get started. Angle knee walls are fairly common within the stair and railing industry. These short walls are used to support the structural integrity that frames your stair system. Because of this, the posts that will be used in your railing system will have sufficient blocking underneath when the time comes to mount and install your posts. We provide the necessary form on our website for you to take proper measurements. You will need to bring a printed copy of your knee wall form, a tape measure, a pencil, and an angle finder or a smartphone. Step 1. Download your angle wall form you will have most likely been in communication with a member of our design team. They will have sent you an email with the angle wall form attached. Make sure that you download and print off a copy of this to use as a reference as it lays out the steps and provides diagrams that assist in the measuring process. However, if you have not yet received this, you can simply visit our website and download it from there. Step two download your Angle Finder app. Now that you have your Angle wall form, download an Angle Finder app on your smartphone. There are many Angle Finder apps available for iPhone, Android, and Windows Phone devices. Search your mobile app store to find one. We recommend using Angle Finder Pro. Step three, record your angle. Once you have downloaded your Angle Finder app, hold your phone in landscape mode and keep it steady for at least five seconds. This will measure the horizontal axis of your knee wall. Most angles on stairs are between 35 to 42 degrees, which your Angle Finder app should reflect. However, some of these apps will give you the inverse measurement. For example, in this application, our angle is 41 degrees. If our measurement were higher, say 49 degrees, we would know that to be the inverse. Once you know the measurement of the horizontal axis, record the measurement to the closest degree. Write it down. Step four, measure your handrail height. Depending on the locality you live in, your local building code may have different standards in height for your handrail. While 36 inches is the most common, it is always good to double check by calling the local office. To visualize where your handrail will be, measure from the nose of the tread to the desired height. Write it down. Step five, measure your knee wall height. Your knee wall height is the distance from the nose of the tread to the top of the knee wall. When recording this measurement, make sure that you start from the edge of the nose, not the middle of the tread. Write it down. Step six, measuring your transition post. In some cases, angle knee walls seamlessly transition to a level platform. This measurement is only necessary if you are mounting a post on a level surface at the top of the stairs. If not applicable, please enter zero and proceed to the next step. However, if there is a transition, measure from the transition point to the front face of the transition post. You will need to make sure you align this post with other posts you are installing if there is a left or right hand turn before measuring this distance. Write it down. Step seven, measuring your knee wall width. Finally, you will need to determine the width of your knee wall. Measure the width from one surface edge to the other. Measurements that are under four inches will require the use of narrow angle feet for installing your posts. Write down your measurement. Step eight, final measurements. Now that you have determined the necessary measurements for your angle knee wall, it is important to fill in the overall system measurements. At the top, you will need to fill in the number of runs that are in your system. Beginning with the first step, count the number of steps up to the point of termination. If your angle knee wall continues up to the second floor, this means that the last run will be the floor of the next level. Write it down. That's all it takes to fill out your angle wall form. You can keep up to date with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash vrail, or by visiting our website, vrail.com.